What's up, YouTube? So, I'm exploring right now. And trying to look for this brewery. But, uh... Yeah, that's like... Jockos and Bishops here? I don't know. It's around here somewhere. I just gotta look for it. I'm too lazy to p pull up my app on my phone. Normally, I would have two phones on me. Ooh. Glass house. That's pretty nice. Was that a bar or like a coffee shop? But it seems like buses are running. Pretty quiet. City buses in Portland are freaking noisy. Holy. Look how quiet that bus is. Holy snap. Buses in Portland are freaking noisy. Holy. Oh, more wheeler. That's what I'm talking about. I love those things. But I want something more speed demon type. I'm more of a dead devil. Eugene is kind of odd. It seems like Portland, but it's not Portland. Hmm. I just want to show you guys what I do. Oh, that's nice. There you go. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. See that right there? I love Muslims. There you go. That's how I want to see it. Humble. <laughs> oh. About time someone put that up. But anyway, I'm looking. Oh, there's a lot of stuff back here. Holy snap. Oh, that's a dispensary. Look at that. Smoky, smoky. Look, 20 after 4. Oh, wow. They basically put 420 backwards. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Organic product. Ooh. That's a guy playing a guitar. That's cool. Wow, this this town is pretty nice. It's like clean, quiet. What's this? Is this a restaurant? This is the name of it, guys. So this is Eugene. Wow, this is a restaurant, I guess. I got the Peace Health Bikes and... Oh, look at that Subo. Yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff back here. In, a na in this na kind of neighborhood, this is pretty cool. This, this seems like North Portland. Willie Nelson, Nelson's, oh, a natural grocery store over there. There's a, there's a Red Barn grocery store. There's a train over there. Oh, we have found the burrito. Oh my, wow. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Eight dollars for a burrito. There better be big burritos. Cause... Oh wow. I might have to come back for a wet burrito. Oh look, there's a ramen place too. Oh snap. Uh oh, Cakey just said, oh, forget the burrito. You see the ramen. Oh wow. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Nublaske. Oh, who wants a beer? 
<laughs> I just want to see it. Dude, this neighborhood is awesome. Oh, my panda. Why I did not come here before? I know I said in my my uh, log video that I've been here five, I think it was five and a half years ago. But I never got the chance to come here. Look at that. Look at all that beer. Look at that beer. That beer screamed your name. <laughs> that beer is screaming your name. Oh, wow. Oh, we, guys, we're gonna go, we have to check this out. Ooh. I don't normally go into breweries that much. The only time I went to one, a couple of ones, Germany, one in Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago, they're okay. The one in Germany was pretty cut, it was pretty sweet. Very, very, very clean. Oh, wow. That's, that's got to be a new one, because I've never seen that one before. Oh, wow. Look at all that, look at all that hop. Look at all that hoppy hop. Oh, my. Wow, this neighborhood is pretty freaking awesome. I might have to just be a hobo and sleep out here. <laughs> okay, uh, she. If I'm right, we are near the Whitewater Hostel. I'm not sure where that is again. I haven't been here in a while. The place was just like terrible. Yeah, that was 2014. 2015, I think. I gotta check it. But there's a lot of food back here. Holy smack. Dude. Lot of Oh, they closed it? We can't go here for a drink? Ah. Uh, we open our new location. The tasting will be permanently closed. Get him. Ah, ha, 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 ha. No, the tasting room. Ah, oh, well. That would have been nice to go in here and taste some, some of that new IPA. I don't know what that is. There's a, a lot of things back here. Oh, look at that. You can look at this alley. You can take portraits back here, do a photo shoot. Don't need a permit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that nice coffee shop. Oh, wow. That coffee shop looks pretty nice. Everyone's smoking pot, though. A lot of everyone's smoking pot around here. I'm just going to stay away from that. I just want to look for some cool stuff to do. Because if the train is coming by here at certain times, I want to get a long exposure of the train. Like there's people camping back out here. There's someone camping out back out there. And uh, we're going to go back this way, guys. I just want to see what's on this side of the railroad tracks. Because like it seems like there's a lot a lot going on over there. If you look over there, and try to hold it as steady as possible. See, this is where the Amtrak train comes. I don't understand why is there not a station? On the, the station is down, down, down. Let's see, let's back here. Yeah. It's pretty much like railroad, highway, intersection, a couple of auto care stores here. Look at that. Look at the railroad tracks. Dude, sick photos. Okay, look at that landscape. Oh, wow. Leading lines, people, leading lines. 
That's First Avenue. So, yeah, we need to go back. We need to go back this way. Okay. Let's go check down what's on that block. Ten minutes and we saw some really cool stuff. It's a really good places to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. Oh, I can eat that burrito in that ramen. But I want that ramen. Yeah, I'm a sucker for ramen, so. Wild Time Foods. What is that about? Real Honest Food. Okay. Giving you guys some air time, I guess. Am I going to get a commission? Because <laughs> Panda's hungry. Okay, so we're going to walk around here and see what's around here. Uh, let's just explore. Corner and stone tailgated in events. What is this about? Oh, it's a bar. But it's closed. Oh, okay. We're gonna go around Jackson. Just Jackson. There's plenty of cell phone towers here. Simple mobile. <laughs> Do not fail on me on this live stream. And there's a big, big tower, cell phone tower, right across the street from my uh, hotel room. No excuses this time, Simple Mobile. I'm like literally sleeping right on top of a cell phone tower. Like I'm having sexual intercourse. <laughs> okay. So, nothing really back here, I guess. Oh, donations. What's, what's that about? I need some donations, I need some food, I need some money, I need a, I need a, I need a, what's that called, a bike, that guy has that bike, he said, you know, you see, well, yeah, I could use that, but I saw that, that uh, bike, that has like the little casing in front, you could put so much in that, oh, look, there's another alley here, Wow, these are pretty cool alleys. Oh wow, look at that. Look at all the graffiti. It's pretty sweet. Oh, this is dope stuff. Oh wow, this graffiti is pretty sick. And it looks fresh, too. It's like someone just painted it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Those are fresh. What do I have to say? This one is sick, though. It's fresh. It kind of blends because it, it has character a lot. The other ones are freaking awesome, too. See, I need a bike and a trailer like that, so I can get around easy. See, one of those would be sick to have. If any bike company that wants to sponsor the Panda Photographer on his travel journeys, please. I, look, I really like one. Look at the colors. Oh, wow. Just, just living here, the colors. Just look at that. Oh, wow. I think it's over there. Yeah, I think that's it right there. If I'm correct. Wait. Where is it? I want to show you guys what this place is.
and I think I found it. It's been a while. It's been such a long, 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 long time. But I think... No, that can't be it. I can't identify it anymore. It's one of these houses. Yeah. It's got to be over there. Look, they got their own garden. A garden in front of your house. Not in the back of your house, but the front of your house. Now that... <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. A garden in front of your house without no one stealing your food. I call that success. Oh, there it is. Now, if I wouldn't have stayed here, I'm pretty sure I would have got, paid the same price with less amenities. There it is. Nine seven zero. This is the the New Jean Hostel White. Whatever it's called, white eater. Yeah, it's very. Doesn't seem that uh, that great. It's, it's, I'm not gonna be honest with you. It's not that exciting either. But anyway, let's go back on the main road. I just wanted to show you where the hostel is. So this here. This is second. No, third. This is third. West Third Avenue. Look, there's a stroller. I've got an opportunity there. <laughs> I could push I could push Donald Trump in that since he's still crying about his uh him losing the elections. Trump, dude, you did what most people cannot do at all. <gasps> So be grateful you were a president for four years. Most people can't even accomplish that kind of goal or that defeat. So be proud. But don't be proud of what you did to the American people. Uh-uh. No. That's, un that's unacceptable. Well, that's a nice door. Oh, we got some pumpkin skills over here. Uh-oh. Let me find out who got pumpkin skills masters over here. Wow. Do people have, okay, the leaves are cool, but come on. Gotta clean them off the sidewalk. All right, so, oh, now I remember where I am now. Okay, so the house is in back of me. Supermarket should be right in front of me. Ooh, that looks pent out. I like those black rims. All right. I'm sorry it's in vertical. I can't really hold the phone and landscape because what it does, it's got to jiggle. You're going to see that jelly effect iPhone's doing, I, Apple's doing something to the iPhones, or I don't know what they're doing, but sucking. I'm having so many bugs with Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, other apps failing, not connecting. Oh, that's a dead pumpkin. Ew. That's gross. Ah. Maybe these people are not so hygienic. Oh no. It's a lot of leaves. <laughs> a lot of leaves. You know, you could get do a landscape work. You get paid get money for that. Especially here, if there's so many leaves. You get paid big bucks. 
Oh, this is Suka Marvin right there. But these trees are humongous. Look at the, the foot on that. Humongous. It's like... It's like two big sack balls. <laughs> Yeah, Portland and uh, Redwood City is uh, pretty interesting. Oh, I came from that one. Okay. This is Supermarket. This is 7 Eleven, which we don't want. We want to go check out that Japanese restaurant out, and we don't check out their menu. I probably cannot afford to buy anything right now from them, but <laughs> we can check it out anyway. Wow, port. I have to say, give a take that is clean, but you guys are hoarders. You guys are hoarding a lot of stuff on your properties, which is fine. Oh, that's the cleanest house I have seen. Holy snap. The front is just like, oh. Okay, there's a lot of cool stuff back here. We just went to the brewery, but it is closed. The taste in is permanently closed. So. Where does we do the homeless sleep here? Where do they go? I know that. This not a homeless shelter over here. I don't think so. I know there's a community center, but that's way on the other side, over the bridge, on the other side about, I don't know, that's a like a 20 minute hike, 30 minute hike. Yeah, just to get to, to, to services, I believe. Cause I was looking at it online. I was like, oh wow, that's on the other side. Of town. Nah. I was looking for uh, vegetables to pick up so I don't have to spend money on vegetables at the market. And then I realized, oh, I don't even have a freaking stove. <laughs> no, they do not. Me or poor right now. Me, me. We gotta live the hard life too. Oh, look at this. That's a nice spot. That's a nice spot. What is this? New Day Bakery. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. The CBD. Go get your 1220 on. We are closed. Not forever. We love you. Aw. Kind of sucks, though. I knew the booty was right here. Okay. I just want to check out that menu. Sorry guys, I just want to go check out that Japanese menu. On the, on the, the ramen. Commercial district. Ah, this is called the commercial district. Okay. That makes sense. I think I'm going to have to retitle this Commercial District Food Hunt. Oh yeah, I'll be back at the brewery. I, I, I bet you it's expensive in here. <laughs> Come on, like all these places around here. Good, good, good. See? Mainly. Ah, oh, ramen. This is where we want to go. Uh, let's see here. Let's go look at the menu. Let's see. So they have mushroom red miso ramen. Tamiki restaurant. Dukegi restaurant. 
Oregon. Ooh, they got the red ball. Ooh, Sam and Oregon. What is, what, what is a breakfast? America. <laughs> you will never find that in Japan. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. And a lot of Japanese will agree, like so many sisters, you can find them, but that I never heard of. Never heard. Oh, look, they got good beer, though. Not a lot of sake. That's the. Ah, gotta have the good sake. Oh, but they got ikibiki. Ah, they got ikibiki. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. That's a strange one. What's he doing with the egg, onion, bushel, smoke? Yeah, that's... I don't eat egg, so that's a, that's a real one. But yeah, that, it looks like a good minute. But the egg part kind of freaks me out a little bit. Inside a rice ball. or That's... that's Okay, they got Indian. Hey, they got India. I want some spice in my life. <laughs> Shit, I love spicy food. Don't I open? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, I've been sick though. Oh well, guys, this was pretty cool. People are camping out here. No one's bothering them. That's pretty nice. This, guys, there's no point of arresting homeless people when they have no place to go. Especially if they're new to homelessness. They have no idea how to deal with the problem or how to fight it because of the pandemic. Don't make people's lives worse by giving them a ticket or an arrest record for just trying to do a human, a human thing, sleeping. <laughs> weird that's that's the police system here for you they will arrest you for sleeping talk about a human right but yeah this is a pretty cool area and it's called commercial district it's called right yeah commercial district Her style has a bit of a Native American there too. Huh. Dude. Look, I thought it was an alley, but it's not. But that one is. See, I like alleys because, like, it just keep walk. It just keep going. Love is love, but do people actually really love their loves? Some do. Well, I guess I'm not going to get a $2 burrito. <laughs> That's out of the question. Ugh. I am so hungry. Oh my goodness. I'm so starving right now. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. What do you guys think? I'm going to keep walking. I don't have that time to wait. All I've been doing is waiting. Oh, there's another bus. Normally, uh, well, maybe because I've been in Portland and... Uh, for six months, that you just hear the bus coming. You can hear the bus come from down the street. But here, you just don't hear it. You just see it. Yeah. 
downtown's a little bit of a way to get to, but, you know. Gouda Donuts is down there. Uh, oh, the Shishi Go Around is down there, too. You should go check that out. It's like, I showed you guys earlier in the live stream on Instagram. It was like $2.50 plates. I'm like, what? I'm down. I need one of those too. Wow, a lot of campers. A lot of people camping and a lot of trailers. But I noticed that downtown, no one sleeps downtown. That's weird. It's like they cut it off or something. Okay, I need some food. Okay, go back to the hotel. We didn't we didn't find what we were looking for. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Gotta be some something around here with a good deal. Okay, we gotta get rethink plan B. Plan B. How are we gonna steal a burrito? <laughs> ah, I don't know, I just feel like a burrito. A veggie stuffy vegetarian burrito. No cheese though. Mmm, that sounds so good. Alright. Anyway guys, I hope that was fun for you. Everything's all right. Well, I guess I'm alive. That's the best part. But broke? Yes. <laughs> alive? Yes. Broke? Yes. Hungry? Yes. Sake? No. Oh, I'm so hungry. I have to find something cheap to eat. Super cheap. Ugh. Ooh, spots. Ooh. Wow, I just saw spots. Oh, yeah, I'm still seeing them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's weird. I just saw it's like spots. Oh. That's happened like three times in the last like three, in the last like ten days. <sighs> Such a long twenty four hours. Cold. I had no choice. To get this hotel, because it was freezing last night. If you guys watch this morning's vlog very carefully, everything was frozen on top. Like, imagine if someone was sleeping outside the street and they sleep in bag with just nothing but froze iced. Ouch! <laughs> oh. The government has to do something, because this can't continue. Innocent people are being put out on the street because 
power over your fucking political seat. I wish I could destroy that political seat, start a new government, because it doesn't make sense. Someone just won the presidential elections and says he wants to unite, but you guys said, no, fuck Biden, I don't want to unite. It shows you that there are some leaders that do not want to compromise, like Nancy Pelosi. She never wants to compromise. She's a reason why you guys don't have a stimulus package. She is the reason. Could you just take the 1.9 deal? Just take it. Take it. You didn't spend that much last bill. So what the... But no. So what? She's been... Oh, she's been in Congress for freaking over 25 years. I've been alive for 40. <laughs> so I don't want to hear that. Take all this stuff off. Okay, so we gotta look for a two dollar burrito special. That's all I have is I actually technically have three dollars and thirty two cents. So we gotta make this work. We gotta find a burrito. Let's close this door. I don't want Peeking tons in here. Oh, no, 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 not on the bed, not on the bed. Not on the bed. That's a dirty bed. <laughs> we don't want to put that on that bed. That's too dirty. All right. Hot spot is still on. Let's continue on like that, shall we? Okay. Uh, it works. Just look up cheap burritos. Cheap burritos. Oh, near me. Yes. This one is called burrito. Oh, wow. That's not even near me. Is it? Wait, wait, wait yes, it is. Kind of. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let me show you on the map where we were. Okay, so we were in this district here. So, mostly this district, not this district, not the market, but White Eater District. They call it, it's called a com uh, commercial district, but I don't know why. But yeah, we were in this area here. You can see how many businesses are in there. Okay. I'm just looking for a cheap burrito. Because I'm freaking hungry. How much is your burrito? It's mine. Ooh. I guess I'm going to get tacos at least. <laughs> Vegetarian tacos. Oh, there you go. Uh, people, stop putting cheese with vegetarian. It's not vegetarian. Well, it's not vegetarian if you put cheese on it. I'm sorry, but you guys have to identify what vegetarian means, and I can tell you what vegetarian means. person that chooses option doesn't want to eat meat-based, but could eat an egg or so. But I really think that, like, it's still cheating. If you're trying to stop eating meat, it's still cheating. Oh, wow. Uh, never mind. I don't want a burrito anymore. Food is not cheap like it was once before. It's not cheap. It's got to be a cheap freaking option around here somewhere. Everyone thinks I'm feeling better. It's not that I'm feeling dead. I'm trying to not... I'm trying to not ruin the rest of my day. That's all. Try not to. 
but yeah, you guys want to support, uh, you guys want to, yeah, support, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. What do you think about the, the, the little neighborhood that we went through? Uh, I think it's interesting. I think it's, it has character. Look into you. Oh, bon appetit. Well, arigato. Uh, yeah. Now we just upgraded that burrito price. <laughs> but yeah, I just think the neighborhood seems a little bit weird and colorful, strange, but peaceful. Maybe I can't get used to it, but wow. Really, really, really peaceful. You guys seen it first. Three videos I just posted. Well, two of them showing that how clean this city is. Holy smoke. And how no business here downtown has wood separate. The only business that do have wood in front of their, their establishment is Wells Fargo Bank. But the bank across the street called Summit Bank doesn't have platted woods in front of their windows. Are you paranoid, Wells Fargo? Not one establishment other than West Fargo has wood on front of their panel windows, which is silly. But then again, it is, it's, a, it's a bank that doesn't bury tis black Americans at, at all either. Because when I went to go apply for a bank account for them, they told me that like I needed to deposit this amount and I needed to do to insure. I was like, nah, no, that's okay. I just went over the account so I can just like buy something. And like build that credit, but no, you want me to do this, and you want me to do that, and pay you hidden fees? Nah, I'm I'm, I'm good. And my friend, uh, I forgot her name. She was from China. I met her in San San San, San Francisco. Oh, brain break. San Francisco, and like she was using that thing, and I was like, oh yeah. She was trying to convince me to try it again. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not. Because the reason why is because B HSBC, I have a bank account. They actually work with Wells Fargo. It's affiliate, I think. So yeah. All right. We did a live. We did two videos, and actually did two lives, two videos. All in 24 hours. It's not it's something fancy, but I'm limited to what I have that I can take. Because if, once I start taking things out, oh uh, boy, because I'm going to have to leave here soon. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm done. No more. I'm hungry. I need to go rob a bank. <laughs> but I hope you guys understand why I took a video of the host, I mean, the host, the, the bet here. This is my proof that sometimes, it, it, sometimes if you dig a little bit harder, you can find a really good hotel for the same price for better accommodations and cleaner sheets. With that said, everyone, I'm Panda. I got screwed over last night. I had no choice to make a last minute decision to travel all the way down here to New Jersey. When I got here, I got off the Amtrak. I was confused where I needed to go. I took out my phone. I stood outside for a few minutes trying to figure out what to do. And then I talked to my friend and then she hooked me up to get this place. So yeah, she was kind of worried about what's going on and, and she's like kind of disappointed too. Like Wisconsin is taking this long to give you back what you what they owe you. Yeah, it's taking that long. <laughs> it's taking so long. They're like, no, we don't. He doesn't deserve it. Take our time. But with that said, I very appreciate that she went out her way to help me get this for the night. So helps me, but you know it doesn't help. It doesn't help my situation in the long run. What? What's going on? 
Okay, we are not going to look at any more food because it just makes me hungry. Because I didn't eat anything since yesterday. Since the hostel gave me a dish for free. Yes, they, they said I can have anything on that menu. And I was like, huh. And I only chose one item. Not even a beer. I just chose a salad. I needed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I could have been greedy and said, I want that, that, and that. But no, why? I don't have a big stomach like that. No, 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 no. I have. Mind you guys that there's a lot that has happened. Once I lost my sense of smell and taste, my hunger cessation went away. So I'm kind of starving myself right now. It's not deliberately. It's not intentionally. This is the fact that like, I don't know when my stomach will act as if it's really, really hungry. Because sometimes when you're hungry, you overindulge and when you start eating it for the first three minutes, you're like, oh, I'm full. That means you overindulge, you eat too much. But for me, it's like once a day. If I can get twice a day, I'm lucky. <laughs> I am lucky. But um, yeah. I wish my video, my vlog was a little bit longer, but my hands were cold. <laughs> like I was out there since like seven o'clock, six thirty, just walking around. I didn't get back here to about what nine thirty. 9.30ish. So, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching the live stream. I know this is a little bit longer, but originally this was about the food hunt. But I'm going to retitle this. I'm going to call it. Actually, I'm going to redo it right now. I'm going to retitle it. And I'm going to call it Food Hunt. And it was... I guess I'm going to call it that a... Wait a minute. Let me just make sure. Because it's two things. I'm confused. Is it called Whitewater or is it called a Commercial District? That's something I need to like find out. Find out. Hold on. Let me make sure. I'm Googling it. So I'm on West Eugene, I'm not East. Okay, that makes sense. I thought I was East. Okay, so we are West of Eugene. I thought I was, oh wow, I'm, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm very stupid. Oh, my hands are so cold, I can't even type. You can feel it like, oh, that's weird. I'm fixing hashtags. That's what I'm doing. Hashtag fix. Because, uh, and I'm going to change this to a log. Logs. 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 Okay. Tips, angles, uh, you, you can move this, move this, move this, move this, move that, move that, move that, move that. And we're going to put logs, we're going to put travel wham, that's the hashtags for this video. Oops. And I'm going to put the chain. I know this guy, this is tedious. You got to do this every single video. Mind you, if you're a YouTuber, you have to do this every single video. The hashtag cannot be the same. You have to change them up. The algorithm sees it, it's going to push you back. That's what it does. So please, do change hashtags every time you post a video and or 
reconfigure the hashtags, please. It's, it's stressful enough to keep telling this to an audience. But it's stressful enough to keep telling to the same people when they keep asking the same question. Because just the other day, guy got struck twice in one day. Stop using Spotify. Stop using SoundCloud. Because in my opinion, SoundCloud is not safe. Great music, great content, even though some are free, but artists end up in end up making release deals and copyright deals and property releases and all that other stuff for everything they do. So talking to ghostwriters and all that other stuff. So think about it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone. Wait. Who hunt? Who hunters? Oh, that's a good hashtag. We had found Japanese ramen. We found Japanese ramen, right? So we're gonna put Japanese ramen. What's that place? Actually, it's Google. Let's go. There uh, it is. Midi ramen. Sounds more Chinese. Because Midi is more Chinese best. Japanese small play cartel. Yeah, but that that breath that that umi is weird. I never heard of that before. I just never heard it before. So I'm trying to find hashtag for this restaurant so I can put him in the video. Why you why am I doing that? I want the video to go trend. I I never knew about this. If I knew about this area years ago, I would have came here a long time ago. It got good views. Holy crap. Good cocktails. Oh, sh Whoa. Ah. I think I found what I was looking for. Bingo. So, check this out. Look at my tags. I'm trying to change the tags, but I'm also trying to enter, like, tags to these places that we saw in this video. And, uh, I'm going to take this out. 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 Because there's no composition here. We're doing a log. <laughs> We're doing a log. That's... Why we gotta take those hashtags out and we put new ones in. Uh, shot on iPhone. Uh, iPhone. Oh wow, I picked that. That's so crazy. All right. We ain't getting somewhere. Login camera. All right, that's it. And we're gonna do. Also, we're gonna do one more company. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's not even listed. Oh, okay, I'm gonna zoom in more. Wow. We have to zoom in Hot Valley. Oh, Hot Valley is here too. Oh, wow. I walked past Hot Valley. Holy snap. Because I drink all day beers. <laughs> That's why I'm freaking out. I'm like, what? No. Gotcha. Yeah, this is going to be cool. I hope the video trends. I never knew about, like, what was back there. So that's West Eugene. Who's by my door with that shit? Really? 
I'm about to go out the door like, go wet. I'm working. <laughs> right? I am working. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to make money here. Which is not even enough. It's a sad day. Penny doesn't make enough money anymore to get by. Sad. I just can't believe I spent all that money. You know what? I'm gonna fix these. Oh, let's fix that too. No, let's fix that. All these decisive decisions you have to do for a freaking YouTube video. Because YouTube makes it harder now. So you now you gotta put much hard work into it. Because YouTube wants to make it that difficult. And then David Oyster from Australia was like, I told him I was going live stream. He's like, I don't see your live. I don't see your live. He's telling me in a Facebook message. This is proof that YouTube does not send notifications to any of you. And if they do, it's probably at least three, three at a time. And if it's three at a time, that's it. The rest is just chances. Ransom viewers, ransom luck. Come on, YouTube. That's just crappy. How dare you? Think I'm not worth your time. That's what you're saying to me. I'm not worth your time, YouTube, to take take initiative or observe my my cultural education on photography and traveling. But no, you push me back. I was doing fine 2017. Then you push me so far back. You took first of all, did you see that video where they took a thousand subscribers from me? Then a month later, they took another 300 subscribers from me and said that was all spam. Turns out some of you guys were in included with them taking the subscribers out, and you guys had to resubscribe re to my channel. That was proof that YouTube wasn't doing what they're supposed to be doing. They wasn't making sure that they weren't deleting or accidentally deleting wrong accounts, and they were. They were removing accounts from my channel. Stupid. It's it's idiotic, yes, but this is experience that you have to learn. So the best way to get around that is you got to learn from these experiences. Share these experiences with people. Tell them what you find out about how you get around these things. Mm. But yeah, I think I'm done with the hashtag. Uh, food hunt. Oh, no, I'm not. I need to put a foodie gone crazy. <laughs> foodie gone crazy. Yeah, that's a good hashtag. Because I was going crazy because I'm hungry. But someone just told me to check my PayPal. I need to check it. I also have Cash App and Memo. Those are such easier than... Some people prefer PayPal. Some people prefer Cash App because all you have to do is give the person the number, their phone number, or there's a link in the description. Takes you straight to it. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, now that's burrito money. Thank you, uh, Peter. Thank you for the $17.07 donation, Peter. I appreciate that. You are a wonderful person. Now I'm going to destroy a burrito. I should actually make another live stream, me eating that burrito and terrorizing it, making it my bitch. <laughs> I know it, it sounds kind of funny and humorous, but I, I, I see it as humorous. Like, sit here with you guys, like not like a food bunk, but like, you know, I'm about to enjoy this burrito. I'm looking at the camera like, but before I enjoy this video, I'm just going to tell you disclaimer. I am going to kill this burrito. I'm going to make sure this burrito doesn't survive. 
every piece of crumb going in this mouth. How? That's going to, I lick the plate if I have to. So don't ask me that question when you know you have a, you have a way to eat everything off the plate. Just lick it. <laughs> I don't do that. You sure? You don't never do that to your bowl of cereal when you were a kid? Or ice cream that you had? Or miso soup? Or the best ramen? Or even that. I do it to sake. I'm like, I make sure I get every drop of the yeast. I'm going to be like, oh, every rice drop. Ah. Yeah, it's... It, I do that. There's no shame in that. You want every... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I need to save this. You want every ounce of sake or soju you want. Well, soju... Mm, sake is more expensive. Soju, you can get it for good cheap. Actually, that sounds good right now. Soju is a burrito. Here we go. You guys have any good hashtags that you want to give me a good idea for this video? For this video that we are doing now. No? Go on once, go on twice. So, to the panel photographer, and he is going to save it and submit. And there it is. The title has changed, and everything should be wonderful. But um, yeah, I hope people experience. Actually, let me fix this. Twenty twenty. So, guys, can you guys give me a favor? I'm going to show you one thing. That's all I want you guys to do. See this video here? It says the art of uh, landscape photography, episode zero one uh, three. I want you guys to share this on every social media you can find out there. Please share it. Please do. Please do share. I want to expose these people for the dirty, nasty bed they tried to give me without even trying to clean. You didn't, it doesn't look like they tried to even attempt to clean the sheets and the pillowcases. Oh. You guys saw it. So check that video out. You're going to be like, oh, I see why you slept on the floor. Now you understand why I slept on the floor. I don't mind sleeping on the floor. I need to straighten my back and up in a way. So, but yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, Peter, for the donations. I hope more comes because I want to stay here. <laughs> but um, thank you. Uh, if you guys want to know my social situation, what's going on with the adjudicator and you right now? Today, I was supposed to have a meeting or a, a meetup in Portland. Screw that. I'm not going anymore. I give up. I, I, I give up trying to persuade them that I'm being safe. I want to get home. I renewed all my paperwork. I totally forgot about it. You know I'm obligated to it. My parents are going through a fee right now to try to get me. I don't want them going through a heart attack or they, oh, they, they get to an age where I'm not, I don't want to call them old. They're still young, but in their 60s. Okay? The problem is that I don't want them stressing out over me at during this time either. And they are a little bit because they are pissed off. Why you didn't stay at the hostel? I thought this was going to go. I, I want to do something. I can't spend the money. Sorry. If I'm going to get to you guys, this is the money to get to you. If I spend this money, it's gone. I can't fly out. I can't pay for this luggage. So I have to make some sacrifices. I have to make risk. This is what life is about. Just take it with a grain of salt. And sometimes I'm very disappointed about how people just literally did what they did last night. Very disappointed. But, you know, I have you guys. At least I can talk to you guys when I'm feeling stressful or depressed. My anxiety is up because that's what's been going on. And uh, I wanted to talk to someone. And then my Japanese friend, I wanted to go see her, but I was so busy trying to work out my finances and 
Yeah. I was trying to get the budget to come. Give me an extra two hundred dollars out of this. No, not even close. Gave me what? Twenty seven dollars. So yeah. Financially, if I were you, guys, if you're a YouTuber or a small business or you're trying to create a small business, make sure that you do. Listen, through these times, I would suggest doing what is necessary to earn and maintain. Just who cares what people think about you in the street? They call you a bum. They call you a bum. They don't know who you really are. They don't. But when they see you on television the next month or so, like, wasn't he the guy we saw down the street with all the camera stuff? What? Like, was he really homeless? And that's the thing. Was he really homeless? Now, that's another debate. Now, people are going to think I was faking or doing something like that. Was I faking that when I got robbed in St. Jose? I got the video. I'll show you that. Hold on. Let me look good. 60 days. Oh, there it is. If you guys haven't seen this one, I suggest checking that video out. Daily Log in San Jose, episode 11. I'm homeless for 60 days. Real people. Check it out. It's up to you guys. You, you find out some very interesting things I did in that video. Like, are you seriously taking a shower right there on the sidewalk? I, I wasn't naked, and, and and no, what I was doing was just washing off the the overnight filth of me camping out. And I had some. First and foremost, I'm not sponsored by Hydro Flask, but I had a bigger version of this, and I put hot water in it, and by the morning it would be warm and still warm enough to shower with it. So I will use this as my storage of my hot water. But I would keep it, uh, I would keep it wrapped and or in a bag to keep it really, really hot if I wanted to keep it really hot and not let cool air hit the outside layer. Oh yeah, it would keep that warm air in really nicely. Or do what I think, do what I'm about to do right now. Take some graphics tape, wrap it like I do to my tripod. Take some athletics tape, do the same, insulate it. That's what I did. You see it in that video, you're gonna be like, oh wow. And you're gonna see the $2 burrito. That's why I'm craving for a $2 burrito. I'm sorry, but Safeway has one of the best vegan burritos, but only in San Jose. That burrito was bomb. Artichokes, carrots, onion, all the veggies. No cheese, no nut, sriracha. Mm, mm. Looks like a much safer and quieter area. It is actually safer and quieter. But it's much colder here, though. Apparently, it's, it's weird. I thought maybe in the Midland, they get a little bit warmer, but it's actually colder. But, um, yeah, but, yeah, I, I, I just, that burrito was so, Lord Brian, you remember that burrito from, San, uh, from the um, Safeway and San Jose? And it only has to be that woman, that black woman that was making my burritos and the, the, the Caucasian American older woman just had that attitude. I will only let them make my burritos. The guy that was making my burritos, he quit. So I had to find someone else to make my burritos. <laughs> he got another better cooking catering job. So yeah, I'm, I'm not blamed. But yeah, uh, yeah. And then with some young people that make the burrito, they would put a little bit. I'm like, oh, can you put a little, like, excuse me. I just want to know, do I look like a child? I just, no, no, I'm not trying to make a fuss, but do I look like my stomach can hold just that small amount of food for a few hours. Come on, put a little bit of extra down on that. Skip the young young generation like to skip on the burritos. This is why I go for the older generation. They know how to serve a community. The younger generation, I'm sorry to say this, 
not all of you, but some of you have to learn, especially at Safeway, to be generous. You don't give me two artichokes on a big burrito in the middle. What's what's at the ends? <laughs> and that's what, the, it was terrible. So that's why I only go on certain times. When I go into Safeway in San Jose, I would love to cruise that area on my blades. Yeah, see? And there's some skate spots over here. I, just look at the video. You'll see it. The library is a skate spot. The bus stop is a skate spot. Behind this bus stop, there's a skate spot. Behind the Greyhound, there's a rail that is like 20 feet long and it's handicapped. How I know this? I was here years ago and I just saw it this morning. I just wanted to see if it's still there. It's still there. I was like, if I would have had those blades, I probably wouldn't go skate this morning. But it's on a top acid, maybe a fish spray. Mm, you know? Or maybe it. Maybe in spin, half cab to pitch spring, to 360 out, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, I have to upgrade this now. So every time someone donates to the pay, to the YouTube or to the Cash App or to a Remo, I feature your name on a list of people that have supported. And Peter, you are going up, buddy. You are going up. Actually, I should put the hostel up there too because they have helped me in such a long time. Six months, guys, at a hostel. I have never stayed that long at a hostel, ever, in my entire life. Two weeks the most. 30 days max. Because I stayed that 30 days in the Madison. That's before they changed the rules. Now, no one stays there anymore. Not, not even the people that used to stay every summer. Remember, I used to go every summer, and the same people used to show up, they don't even show up anymore because they changed the policy for that location. Because there are a lot of people that come from Europe, like the Japanese girl from London and her, and her boyfriend, and there's other people that come to work for Epic in Madison, Wisconsin. Mind you, it's a medical, technological college town, okay? Jobs are there, but you, <laughs> sometimes Wisconsiners are fucking picky and selective like no other. I don't I was selective, but they are the worst sometimes. Not all of them, not all of them but some employers are. And then they, they would try to trick you to, to answer a really odd question, which I don't like. Okay, update. I updated this video because the hostel has supported me for six months. And not only that, I'm going to show you a comment that the hostel gave me. I'm going to show you guys something from the owner so you guys can understand what I was doing for them as well as a guest and paying for my stay. I want you guys to reach out. Hold on. Let me... I got a message from the new girl from 1945. She's a rollerblader. Where is Jim? Where are you, Jimmy Jimmy? Oh, there you are, Jim. This is Jim's message towards me. And I would do it again, Jim. Each time I come to the hospital. So he says, come over. This was the day before, right? Come over at five for a speech and we will buy you dinner. And then, wow. Well, I said, blah, blah, how about birthday? I said, I'll think about lunch because I already ate. But yesterday, this is what I received. Thank you for being such an amazing guest, one who views the hustle as if it was worth their own in a very in a very positive way. You help as daily, as you know, with the daily chores going on. You help as a daily by go going out your own way and cleaning the common areas, keeping other spirits up. And promoting the hustle every chance I got. I promoted the sh <laughs> I did. I, it's like, it's fun to me. It's work, but it's fun. It helps a community get through this pandemic. And so you. If you guys were the same thing, I visit you. I do the same for you. I do whatever I can with whatever skills I have. Being short-staffed, 
They were short staff. You took it upon yourself, yeah, to be a take a staff role. And mind you guys, this is not my first time volunteering at a hostel. It's not my first time working at a hostel for four stays. Now, at this hostel, you cannot do for stays, but because it's independent owned, but it's affiliated with High USA International Hostel and Services. But if you go to like the Chicago hostel or the New York hostel, you can work for two hours to get work those two hours for a day stay. You can get a day stay for two hours work, but you got to sign up for ahead events. Just to make you know that if you're going to plan to go to a city, sign up events so you can get those opportunities. Also, be a member of the High International. I'm a lifetime member, so mind you, it's 250 bucks for a lifetime membership. That means for, until the day that you die. That means you get discounts on every single stay that you contribute to. So let's say you go to New York, you go to the hostel, or you go to Chicago. They prices around, let's say Chicago, D.C., and New York prices at, are $66 at start, right? You pay $66 plus login and hospitality taxes and fees, right? That comes up to about 81 or 75 or 76, blah, 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 right? But guess what? When you have a membership, you cut that off. You get like 15% discount. So, and that's for each day. So let's say you want to book for three days. You get 15% of this day, 50% of that day, 50% of that day. You get that discount. So, yeah. So you pay a fair price because you're a member. You contribute. You do your thing. You go to seminars. I haven't been to any of the high U.S. seminars this year. And the reason why I was going to those because I was really thinking about taking that money that I won from, but that money's now spent. I was thinking about opening a hostel for rollerblade. No. Nah. <laughs> Rollerbladers and, and, and photographers. That's what my attended target was. I want a place for photographers who can come to be like, this is the spot. You got TVs, you got an editing system, you got you got laptops, you know, they all be you know hooked up to the system. Dude, I want my hostel to be the dopest hostel for everyone, not just photog for, for photographers. For everyone, sports enthusiasts, travelers, business opportunities, you know, it's, I, that's a dream. <laughs> I know it's a dream, but only time can tell if it will come to fruition. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come to life or not, but I'm really happy about this message. Though. I would do it again, Jim. I would do it again any day of the week, guaranteed. I might... I can just, one day, I'll probably, within a year, just fly to Portland, pop in, like, hey, Jim, I can't do the volunteer. What? You're not even checked in. I know. I, let me do the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm leaving. What? You're here for it. Just a few hours, maybe in six hours, eight hours. Imagine me doing that again, because I did that before. I, was, I used to go a lot. I used to do that a lot. Go to Paris. <laughs> For two days, come back to New York. And Yuki used to hate me for it. She's like, why are you doing that over the weekend? I was like, don't worry. I'll be back before Monday, before noon. Don't worry. <laughs> but she's like, you, you're not. like. But since now the Concord is no longer in service, <laughs> can't make those journeys. And yes, I have taken the Concord six times with my parents. Pretty fast jet, by the way. Pretty fast jet. And they're talking about bringing the Concorde back. <gasps> but Elon Musk, you must put your devil little hands on this one this time. I'm telling you, you have to. Imagine a supersonic electric engine jet. Oh, my God. Jet engines on a Concorde. Electric supersonic jet engine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Elon, think about it. Think about it, the same, but really, I think the U.S. needs to rethink about its transportation 
system. The rail line system is pretty okay, but I was telling a, a, a native a native here, I was like, listen, man, if I was in Japan, I'd take the Shinkansen train, I can get to Tokyo, can you go, and I can get to this place and this place in 20 minutes. So we compare, and I was like, okay, for instance, Oregon City to uh, uh, Eugene, it took about hour. It took about uh, about two hours. I told David, it probably would have took twenty minutes <laughs> if that was a bullet train. It probably would have took twenty minutes, thirty minutes tops if that was a bullet train. And I love the train. So I'm hoping California and Arizona would contribute to that super high speed rail line. I'm hoping to see that in the future. If you guys don't, haven't heard about that, yes, they've been building that super rail line for a while now. It's been in construction for a long time. It's supposed to connect Las Vegas to LA. So, yeah. I can't wait. I want to be a first writer on that, just to write it. And I want to time lapse it too. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys. Uh, someone sent me, hold on, let me check my email. I haven't checked the email all day. Okay. I'm speaking to someone that brought a newer Q3 flash. Check this out. Well, he's he's trying to decide if he wants to buy it or not. This is what I do every day, guys. This is what I sit behind the computer talking to you guys all the time. Making suggestions for you, better suggestions for you guys. I always tell you guys, do even though this is YouTube, you can always chat with me through Instagram. If you want me to help you with something, just DM me, chat me. I'm not those other photographers who are like, oh yeah, uh, that's a service you have to pay for. I would do that with some people. <laughs> but like you're my community, then if you like, hey, I watched your video on YouTube, I need to ask you this question. I'm like, shoot, go ahead, go for it. But yeah, he's um, he's not liking the Yongu 685s because Mind you, I, I, there are missed shots with the Yongu 685. And I know people love that camera for Canon, but there were missed shots with that flash. So he's telling me, strobe. I'm like, dude, you're going to push out more power than that speed light, probably. Because I did the review. Hold on. Let me Amazon my ass. Let me Amazon myself. Oh, Amazon finally post my reviews. Check this out, guys. Took them forever. Look at this. Took seven times to try to post these videos. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my panda. Seven times. This one took maybe three times. Worst tent ever. I could have had that tent. I could have been tenting out last night. But no, it broke. So, yes, I had a tent. It broke. And then they removed all these reviews. So I made them put it back. But I don't have the video, but as you can see, the zipper broke. Oh, the stitches was popping. And the support rail broke. So I tried to crazy glue it back. <laughs> it broke. It, it just literally broke. You couldn't do anything. So this is my, it's, uh, my, my Amazon. But let's go to the newer uh, comment that you guys want to see it. Here we go. Helpful. See that? It helped people. See? I'm clarifying stuff. I'm just clarifying. This is a very good article, like, review for this product. And 
Amazon swear by their name thought this was too professional. This was too good of a review. This is promotional. And then when I started putting disclaimers, they said, oh, you cannot put that. But your, your guideline says I could. So you guys are either being a hypocrite or you guys are not following your own policies and guidelines. But anyway, this helped people quite a bit. Look how much power it put out. And I wasn't even using full power. I was, what, what, one, one eighth? <laughs> right there? You can see the light right here. You can see how it's like, boom, done. I didn't even use a fill light. I didn't use a bat light. I just want to emphasize the light, the strobe itself. You can see that the strobe works at one eighth of a power. Holy. Good. Very good. Like this one. This is Alvin. I like this one. And I wrote about the, yeah, I wrote everything you need to know, what you need to be aware of. But yeah, this one was shot at what? One, I think it's one sixteenth. <laughs> I got to look at the, the data. But yeah, and I have tons of videos on this on YouTube. So if you are a photographer, oh, you're a photographer, and you're looking for the cheapest strobe in the world, but useful, and it's gonna it's gonna hurt Godox, and it's gonna hurt Godox. Check this out. Oh, the price went up. You stink, you mother! I told you guys. I told you. See, I said it myself in the first two videos when I made the first two videos. Get it while the price is too low. Look, the price went up. Oh snap. <laughs> it went for 179. Well, without this, it's two hundred dollars. With this, it's this price. Because they sell this unit as a strobe unit, because you could use it as slave for 179. At one point they did sold it on newer new egg. New egg. Newer two three. Newer was selling this and they ran out of stock. Yeah, they're out of stock. Yeah, see? They are out of stock now. So yeah, you can buy this unit separately and you can use it with any wireless system, but keep in mind you have to use it in slave mode. Now this, see, this one says no trigger. So it's, uh, this, do, yeah. Look at that, look at that. As soon as you Google that, that's me. <laughs> this is why I emphasize why you gotta fix those hashtags, you gotta be the first to review it, get first dibs. <laughs> But yeah, it worked really well. And I used it even for my live streams as a model light. So yeah, that goes to show you guys that it works. But anyway, how much money did I make today? Let's see here. Oh, wow. I'm just shutting this off. <laughs> I don't even want to look at that. But thank you, Peter. For the donation. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you guys go now. I had fun talking with you guys. I want you guys to understand my experience. On the road. By myself. With no help. Count 200 pounds of luggage. Like I said, if you guys know anybody that wants to contribute a bike with a... What is that? A crew? What's that? Let's go to Craigslist. I'm going to show you what I was talking about in the live stream. I really want this thing, this bike thing that, oh, it's. What they call that? With a. With a trailer? What is that? What's. What do you call that? The bike with the little. With the compartment in the front. What did it call that again? 
I see a lot of delivery drivers use it to deliver food or stuff, but yet. These travels are expensive. Holy crap. It better be made out of carbon fiber. That's expensive. So it looks like this, guys. It's a bike, and it has that front piece in the front, but it's much bigger. And what I'm looking for... Oh, man. I don't know if it's, what's it called. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I just saw it today. Oh, look at that. See, it, it's like, it's that. It's that thing, that bike right there. What is that called? A, a flatbed? Or what? I know, that's a flatbed. What is that? That's what I need. That's the bike that I need. Oh, my hand up. And look at that. That's white and black. Oh, perfect. That's the bike that I would like to have. Oh, they just sell this at Walmart, too. But I don't have a bike. It'd be much easier if I had a bike in the trailer. I'd have to, like, physically pull that. Because that's what's pulling muscle tension in my arm. Which I have to go see a doctor about. And I'm not sure what is going on when I do this. It's like, tenses up. Oh my, those, those trailers are expensive. I'm sorry, bike trailers are expensive. If it's not made out of carbon fiber, then it's not worth my time. <laughs> right? Because carbon fiber takes much more of a beating than normal steel and aluminum. I can break aluminum. I've done it many times. It's easy. Especially when you have a product that is cheap and recycle aluminum. Ooh. Like this company, I show you a company. I did a review on their tripods, and they screwed me over. Are they still in business? Their website is not up. Apparently, their website is kind of still up. No, not really. I'm about to show you guys right now. Oh wow. I don't think their website is up. Yeah, I think it's complete and totally Oh wow. Yeah, it's, it's shut down. Look at this. So, this is the main website. It's completely off the grid. No longer existent. After my reviews? Yeah, you should. Bastards. <laughs> six for six studios. If that's still online. Where is it? So I made a really, really, <laughs> I made a video about these tripods and uh, yeah, I, I ripped the asshole in them. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it that way guys, but I really did. I, I literally put a new butthole in that company because the second day that I had the tripod, I did this, I literally put the leg out, and it snapped in two. The leg broke. I'm like, from, I'll show you the point. This is my carbon fiber Leo Photo or Arc, Arc Size tripod, right? It broke right here at the... The aluminum or metal housing, or this is magnesium housing. It broke right there. Not once, three times. Three times. 
And I wasn't doing, I, I just, I did this. That's all I did. Open it up and it, it snapped. It broke. Then the ball head that came with was good at one point and then something inside clicked, broke. They sent me another one. But the one that they sent, the second one, they sent me a refurbish, used. That's so messed up. This is why I tore, tore them another butthole. So I was like, give me your butt. I'm going to put another hole in it. Because you guys did me wrong. You sent me a used unit. I paid for a new unit. And you guys sent me a used unit. You're supposed to give me a new unit. So I sent that back. They gave me a hassle over the phone. I said, listen, guys, I'm trying to help you guys establish bottom ground here. You don't have to. But with that said, oh, battery is about to die. 10%. But with that said, everybody, I gave them a new butthole, now they're out of business. Why? Because they screwed all their customers over. And apparently, it's still selling on the market. Why? Why are they still selling this tripod? It's garbage. It's garbage. It's not even worth $200. It's garbage. Would you pay $200 for that? Hold on. Let me show you something really fast before the phone dies. Let me show you something. Let me show you the best carbon fiber. Let me show you what you can get for $200. Bum bum. We're gonna do five star. We're gonna do 100, 200. And oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all these carbon fiber tripods. Look at that. Look at all these carbon fiber tripods that can do you better for under $200. <laughs> like I said, you guys can come talk to me if you guys are looking for a way to save money. I do the research for you. I don't mind doing that because I would like to know too. I don't mind doing the research. But look at that. Oh my God, that's sick. <laughs> I just saw it. I just saw it. Look at this. I could have got this for the same price that I bought this tripod. Look at this one. Oh. See, this is why we have to research. You have to look. This is a carbon fiber with the fluid head. All for 170, 180. Wait, 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 wait. You've just been panda risen. <laughs> You've been risen from the dead. I hope you're happy. You've all been risen from the dead. I just woke your butts up from reality. Why are you spending $300 when you can buy a, a carbon fiber tripod for $180 and get a fluid head with it? It might not be the best fluid head. It might not even be. It might be good than Manfrotto. You just don't know. You might like it. You may not like it. But at least you have an option to return it. With Amazon, yeah, get your money back. Kube is, I heard it was nice. I heard that too. I'm about to go to Kube. I don't know how I'm going to get there. <laughs> I don't have a car. But it, guys, please, take it from me. Take it from Panda. Let me take this one out. Oh, my, mind you, I give this hotel credit for having European outlets, but you're not the first. For a low-budget hotel that has European outlet, nice. Now, I probably can use my European outlet because I haven't used mine in a while. It's been in my bag for like years. I'm not years, but you get my point. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that carbon fiber tripod. Oh, my panda. Doesn't that look so good? Look at that. Look at that. I don't know, guys. That's, that looks like a steal to me. It looks gorgeous. I like the color steam uh, theme going on that. What? 
Look at that. A detachment two system with spawn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm sending this one back now. <laughs> I want this. I want this. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Mines don't even do that. Oh, wow. It detaches. Like a full monopod use. Sick. That's just sick. I like... See, this is... Guys, I hate when manufacturers make a tripod and they put the ball... They put the bubble lever inside where the ball head or the fluid head needs to go. Love that. Outside, when you need to see it, when it's visible. Good. Like this one. Same thing. I got one, two, three, and there's a fourth one. Where is it? Four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Landscape is kind of overkill it. I know. We, we, we do that sometimes. But look at all these great carbon fiber tripods that I could have got for the same price as that tripod. But no. Nope. I wanted to go for something premium. Oh, wow. Did the price really come down? <gasps> the price come down. What's going on? Is it Black Friday already again? <laughs> Is it that time? Guys, the price came down for this tripod. Oh, I'm calling Amazon. I want my money. No, 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 no. If you guys are changing prices after I purchase it, that's that's bullshit. That's crap. You can't do that. That's lame. That's lame. Oh, there's a used one for 150 bucks. Look at that. Guys, you can get one used. It's not used, but like new, used, 150 bucks, blah, 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 blah. You guys get it. Will come in the original package. Package will be damaged. Oh, the box would be damaged. Of course, the box came with mines with damage. Kind of. <laughs> but I didn't get no discount. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of tripods up here, guys. Come on. Now, if you have hundreds of dollars and you want to, ooh, now do Now, that would be something. I want that bag. I don't want the tripod. I just want the bag. <laughs> I want the bag. I got I to gotta love some net and geo. Uh, oh, it's a small one. It's cute. And you know they're making tripods. But I want the bag. That's all I want. Hey, Nat, can you send me the bag? Please? Please? Okay, so, anyways. Yeah. There's a lot of... Ooh, that red one looks kind of... It just pops. Ooh. As I said, guys, you guys can always find out questions. All you have to do is, like, can we just email Panda? Let's DM Panda. Let's find out. Instagram me. That's what these guys are doing right now. That's who I'm talking to. I'm just explaining to him that Newer did not know anything about the Q3 system. They don't know the specs. They didn't test it. They did nothing. There was no promotion for it. There was nothing. I did the test for them. So they should be paying me for their sales. Am I right or wrong? They should be giving me a commission for those sales they are receiving right now for the Q3. And that's just honest, that's just real, real talk right there, Newer. 
You know what? I got five people that brought your items in a new... Uh, this person is not even from this country. He's from, South, he's from Brazil. He's about to buy it. I'm getting people all over to buy this unit. Where's my commission? Tell them the truth. You were failed to acknowledge what they're supposed to do. Your business, you don't know about your own product. But anyway, guys, my phone needs to charge. I have to talk to you guys in the next food moment when I bring back food. All right? Peace.